the North Stream pipeline was blown up outside of NATO country Denmark's island Bornholm back in September 2022, soon two years ago. In many mainstream media news outlets, Russia was said to be responsible, but a lot of people asked why Russia would blow up their own pipeline. And if they wanted to stop the inflow of gas to Germany, a following question was why they would attack their expensive pipeline instead of just stopping the deliveries without causing any harm to their own infrastructure. Investigative journalist Seymour Hirsch, the renowned journalist that exposed U.S. war crimes in Vietnam, reported on U.S. secret bombings in Cambodia, war crimes at the Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq, the Watergate scandal, and many other cases, reported on the North Stream sabotage as one carried out by the U.S. and its NATO ally Norway. As you may have seen on this channel, there is also a film here on the Norwegian pipeline that started deliveries to Germany right after North Stream was sabotaged and how a NATO military scuba exercise in the area of the pipeline was carried out shortly before. While clips re-emerged, where US President Biden said that they would put an end to the pipeline if a war would break out in the Ukraine. If, uh, if Russia invades, uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. Beaches like this reinforced trust into Hirsch's report. But do, but how, will you, how will you do that? since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control? We will, uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. Now, the NATO country and former Russian gas buyer Germany has issued a European arrest warrant as revealed to the BBC by Polish Prosecutor General spokeswoman Anna Adamiak. In early July this year, Polish officers went to the home of the suspect by German media named Volodymyr Z. Polish Prosecutor General's spokeswoman said that the home in Pruskov, near Warsaw, was empty and that the suspect had already gone back to the Ukraine. According to three German media outlets' investigation, the operation was carried out by three Ukrainian divers, including one woman. They are claimed to have hired a German yacht which they sailed out into the Baltic Sea, dived from to plant the explosives and blew up three of the total four North Stream pipelines. This theory is different from the one claiming Russia responsible for the sabotage and subsequent gas leak, comparable to approximately 15 million tons of CO2. Qui bono is a Latin phrase about identifying crime suspects. It depends on the fact that crimes are often committed to benefit their perpetrators, especially financially. In English, to whom is it a benefit? Does it financially benefit the German state, the Ukrainian state, the Russian state, the United States of America? the Norwegian state, or the so-called deep state. I want to thank you all for watching this video and for supporting the channel. I appreciate all your support here and on Patreon. I hope you share this, subscribe, comment, and press the thumbs up so YouTube's algorithms recommends this film to more viewers out there. Thanks a lot. Until next time, take care.